there, welcome back to the challenge. Day two is today. And one thing that I know pretty certainly is that yesterday something came up for you around wanting to drink. You found yourself at dinner in the middle of the day after coming back from work at some point wanting that drink because it was so automatic. And it's that learning that we're gonna rely on over and over and over here. And so part of what I want you to do is really sink into and explore the discomfort. I already mentioned this before, but we talked about our three principles, honest exploration, radical acceptance, and individualized transformation, and you're in full exploration mode. What I want you to understand as I talk about this is the following. We're not going for perfection. We're just not. You've been struggling with this for a while. That's okay. We're going to continue improving what it is that's happening. So don't worry. A lot of people by the second day, they're already worried that they got triggered a lot the day before. They found themselves really craving drinks over and over and over. That's okay. Honest exploration is not about fighting the urges yet. It's about understanding them. So what I want you to do today is lean into the discomfort. As I say in the guide, embrace the struggle, right? Pay attention to the triggers. Pay attention to the discomfort that's coming up for you. Write it out and journal about it. You know, your body and your brain are sending you signals when that discomfort comes up. That was the role of alcohol. I want you to understand that and not run away from it. That is going to be the most powerful opportunity to identify the forces that are pushing you to drinking. So that's a big piece of today. Then obviously, as uh, you see in the journal, write out those triggers. Hopefully you did it already yesterday. You have some knowledge. Do it again today. Now, one of the pieces that is an add-on for today that I want you to think about is the following. Having worked with thousands of people already, I know that a lot of people who come to me struggling with drinking have a lot of unhelpful beliefs that they've been carrying around for years, often decades, sometimes since childhood, that make it even harder for them to deal with their drinking. What are some examples of these beliefs? Some people believe that they are alcoholics. And once an alcoholic, always an alcoholic is such a common phrase. So they say, well, I'm never gonna be able to beat this because I have this disease and sickness. Other people have much more subtle beliefs that have come since they were children. Parents telling them they're no good. Uh, maybe parents avoiding showing affection so they didn't believe that they were lovable and that people cared about them. Um, maybe having difficulties at school or in other kind of skill-based learning opportunities and then thinking that because they weren't good at math or not really good at spelling, that meant they just were dumb and then they couldn't learn, they couldn't figure out how to progress. These unhelpful beliefs are what we call anchors that ignite it, and they're actually incredibly powerful at stopping you from progressing. Because even if you logically want to reach a goal, but inside you believe that you cannot reach that goal, then you don't put in the effort, you don't pay the attention, you don't have the motivation to push yourself forward as hard as you will need to to get there. So what I want you to do during the time of your you know, experiment here with us at Ignited is to do something I call suspending disbelief, right? What if you could fully reach your goal? What if you can fully succeed with seven days of abstinence? What if you can learn so much from this little experiment you're running that you will beat this problem forever? That's the mentality that I want you to bring to what we're doing here. Because again, remember the learning is the goal. So even if you slip up, even if you have a drink when you didn't intend to, if you do the work and you write out the triggers and you lay out exactly what it is that made it so hard or even possible not to drink, you're still winning at this and you're gonna reach your goal. All right, go ahead, download, print out the worksheet, work through it. You're almost done with day two. See you tomorrow.